The royal family of Luxembourg have shared adorable images of their youngest member Prince Charles who was christened today at, at the Labbe Saint Maurice. Born on May 10, the prince, who is the son of Prince Guillaume, 38, and Princess Stephanie of Luxembourg, 36, wore a traditional christening gown in the sweet snaps shared by the Grand Ducal family. In loving pictures, the proud parents look over the moon to be celebrating their four-month-old, who is second in line to the throne. New mother Stephanie donned an orange dress and white heels to the ceremony, while she tied her blonde hair back. Meanwhile, Prince Guillaume, hereditary Grand Duke of Luxembourg and heir assumptive to the throne, opted for a navy blue suit and white shirt, with a powdered blue tie and pocket square for his son's big day. At the time of his birth in May, the young prince could not meet his grandparents Henri, Grand Duke of Luxembourg, and Grand Duchess Maria Theresa because of social distancing measure put in place to curb the spread of the coronavirus. But the intimate photos revealed the Grand Duke has finally been able to meet his grandson. In sweet pictures released in June, the royal baby can be seen enjoying a nap while resting on the side of a large white teddy bear, while others show him peacefully resting in his mother's arms at Fishbaugh Castle. It is with great pleasure that Prince Guillaume and Princess Stephanie reveal new pictures of their son Charles, the Instagram post read. Dressed in an adorable pair of woolen dungarees with a matching sweater and beige woolen slippers, the second in line to the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg looked relaxed and well as he enjoyed the snooze. Charles was photographed by himself, with his mother, with both his parents and with his grandfather Grand Duke Henri. In one sweet picture, the young prince gazes into the eyes of his mother as she tenderly cradles him with her arms on a white sofa. In a statement, the Luxembourg royals said they were delighted to announce the birth of their son in May. It read, the hereditary couple is delighted to announce the birth of their son this Sunday May 10, 2020 at 5, 13 a.m. at the maternity Grand Duchesse Charlotte in Luxembourg. The baby will bear the first names of Charles Jean Philippe Joseph Marie Guillaume. The child weighs 3.190 kilograms and is 50 centimeters tall. Shortly afterwards, Prince Guillaume spoke with the media about the birth from outside the hospital, with the new father bubbling with excitement over the news. He said that the couple were delighted to be living and sharing the experience with Luxembourg, particularly because of the challenges of the current coronavirus pandemic. He explained, We are delighted to have this experience. At a time that is difficult for families that have been separated but in the next weeks will see each other again. A birth is a message of hope, it's a blessing. This is what we are so happy to share with Luxembourg and all the different countries. Luxembourg is a constitutional monarchy in which the Grand Duke holds executive power and bills only become law with his signature. Its monarchy is one of the youngest in Europe and began in 1815 following the Congress of Vienna at the end of the Napoleonic Wars. Full independence under the Grand Dukes came just under 20 years later, when the Treaty of London enshrined Luxembourg's existence in international law and ended years of rule by the Burgundians, French, Prussians and the Dutch. Although part of Luxembourg was later incorporated into what would, in 1839, become Belgium, the country remained intact through the Franco-Prussian War of 1870 and the First and Second World Wars. In 1890 the Grand Duchy passed to Adolf. Duke of Nassau who ruled until 1905, he but, during the war, Luxembourg was occupied by German troops. The royal family fled and a government, in, exile was established in London. In 1964 Grand Duchess Charlotte advocated in favor of her son, who becomes Grand Duke Jean. In 2000, Crown Prince Henri became Grand Duke of Luxembourg on the abdication of his father, Jean. Crown Prince Henri remains in his position today. Much of the executive power lies with the Prime Minister, a Grand Duke appointee, and his cabinet. The Duchy's figurehead remains a powerful and influential figure.